So I'm just doing this video for Autodoc. I've uh, bought a, uh, a pressure hose that goes underneath the uh, intake manifold uh, some of the N62 engines. Uh, this basically this hose here basically connects into these secondary air valves. Uh, one goes on either, either side of the banks. Uh, what I've got pictured here is the original one here with the original fixings. As you can see here, they're a lot more robust, uh, a lot more fixed and rigid, and uh, they do clip in a lot better. Now I'll just put the old one down. And this is the original, so this is the uh, aftermarket one. This is made by Abacus, and uh, it looks exactly the same. Um, quality looks okay until you actually look at the fixings. Now, I have bought um, replacement uh, secondary valves. Uh, for this, uh, for the car. Uh, they're currently installed in the car at the moment, but obviously I've got the old ones out. Uh, just to show an example of how easy it is to actually clip these into this with the old one compared to these. Now, when I was attempting to fit this actual abacus hose in, uh, so obviously when I was trying to push it in, of course this then snaps the little clip over here. So uh, if you notice here as well, these fixings are quite sort of loose there. I mean, they're well, not loose, but to the point of uh, obviously where they spin around. So, these obviously are a different type of uh, clip fitment on there. Uh, while maybe okay, but uh, they're obviously um, a little bit more well, a bit inferior compared to the uh, old ones. So, if you look on the OEM, compare that, there's just no movement on there at all. So, it's actually properly fixed. Um, and obviously being an OEM genuine BMW part, it will of course obviously fit for the first time. Now I'm just going to show you, I'm obviously going to try and clip, attempt to clip one of these into each perf valve here. So I'm going to use that left side there, that's the one that's not broken at the moment. And uh, I'm just going to just show you here on the left side. So let's just clip this in now. It's a little bit difficult trying to do this with two hands, but just bear with me. Right, so this literally just goes in like this, and all it does is just simply just snaps into place. So what I'll do is I'm just going to just put the camera down slightly so you can just see it from here. I may be able to uh, just prop it up just a little bit so you can see exactly how it goes in. There we are. So that literally just pushes straight in. Now, I'm not using too much force here, sorry. So, let's try and prop this up the best I can. All right, here we go. I think it's a little fast to uh, prop this up with. All right, that's better. All right, that should be easier. So here we are, this is the original hose. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to just push this in. There we go. That's just, it just snaps straight into place on there. Uh, you'd have to push it in a little bit, but uh, as you can see there, that's completely snug, fit, no problem there at all. Now, let's just put that down for a minute. Now, here's the aftermarket one by Abacus. So again, in theory, all this should happen is this should just they literally just clip straight in. And as I attempt to push this in all the way, it's really, really difficult. Now, I've managed to clip this in somehow, but here's the problem. It's not completely, it won't completely go in. So you can clearly see this is an inferior part anyway. Now I've got this pushed in all the way in. I'm using all my force on here. But basically, where it's got some little uh, plastic clips at the back here, it won't actually clamp properly onto there. Now if you compare the original, here's the original right here. You're not pulling that apart. I'm trying to pull that apart right now, and that's still staying in place because it's been clipped in properly. Because these original clips are a lot more stronger. 
and uh, they've been designed better as well, designed to actually go into the actual uh, secondary valves properly. Now though I've pushed, these, pushed this in all the way so it's more or less flush, again, this pulls out quite easily. So you will get you will get running issues with this because you may get an air leak on there because it's not completely snug uh, and fits in tight. Thank you for watching.